made from scrap and today I'm going to do a little walkthrough of a junk journal that I pulled together using stuff around my craft room. Some of it I've had um, been making little ephemera pieces here and there, um, little odds and ends. If you uh, watched one of my videos from earlier this month already, I did a craft room tour. You can check that out on my channel and I showed a cardboard box of stuff that I've been putting aside uh, little embellishment pieces that I've been making. So I wanted to dive into that and use some of the pieces that I've coffee and tea dyed in order to make a junk journal. I also saved a cardboard box um, from a grocery store and I went ahead and used some uh, waxed thread uh, to put those signature pieces in. So here's a little bit of ribbon. I'm just going to do a quick uh, well, a fast walkthrough of this, and I hope you enjoy and get some ideas. So this is one of the embellishment pieces. I used fabric uh, from the Dollar Tree to wrap my box after putting some uh, white cardstock underneath because otherwise you would have seen through the fabric. And the way that I went ahead and attached the fabric to that box was using distress distress collage medium so that's something in my stash that I haven't used in a while and I wanted to give that a go as well I pulled out some stickers so I smashed some stickers I pulled out some ribbon from my stash I used like I said some ephemera pieces card fronts those kind of things that I've had um, just piling up in a box I have some odds and ends that I pulled out of my drawers that I had from prior swaps that I got little ephemera pieces that folks made um, I used a couple of journaling cards out of my project life kit um, this is an old project life kit and I wanted to start using it so I have that on my desk um, let's see I used some of the cut off papers to make some tuck spots in here. Used a couple of buttons um, in here. Let's see, a couple of cards, mini cards that I have received and some swaps that I can, you know, uh, go ahead and do a little bit of journaling in. Here's some little mini envelopes that I received as ephemera pieces and swaps, some, some die cuts. I have some tuck spots that are ready in here. This is some graph paper that I've coffee dyed. Some old envelopes out of the junk mail. Let's see. Let's see, I had some fun. I made a little tuck spot there with an old book page. I even pulled out some rub-ons and used those. Here's another little tuck spot that I have in here for some journaling. Um, Here's a, um, a doily, a heart doily, more rub-ons, stickers, more rub-ons and stickers. I even have a couple of, um, not clothespins, but um, paper clips, <laughs> more tuck spots here. Let's see, I have stapled on some ribbon as well. Here's another pocket that's ready to go. You know, if you do some of the stitching on your little ephemera pieces that you pull together, then you don't have to stitch on the book. Uh, not that you have to, but I like the way it looks. So I glued some of those little cards on so they have some flip spots, and here's the envelopes that go with them. Here's another project life card that I stapled on. I have a little pick in here. Okay, some fabric pieces that I went ahead and, oop, that one's coming off. That means that's an old sticker, right? Let's go ahead and give that a quick glue. Maybe that'll stay this time. Okay. There's another card, a little piece that I cut apart from a while ago, another Project Life card there. Here's some book paper just so I can do some notes in there. What I haven't done yet is stamping. There's a card, 
So I'll need to be doing some stamping in here, I think. I'm going to be doing that along with some of the journaling. But I hope this gives you fun ideas for just having a good time in your craft room, pulling out stuff that you haven't seen or messed with in a while, and giving you a reason to just pull it all together. You see how it's all mixy-matchy? I didn't worry about that. Um, uh, so much. I have plenty of stuff to go through, but I didn't worry about it so much. I just said, let me pull together something. Here's a master board cut apart um, that I put together the master board and you can check out my channel uh, and I can show you how to do that. You can see I have some stamping on here and I have some fun other techniques that I used before cutting that apart. And let's see, more stickers in here envelopes little mini envelopes and that is it that is my little junk journal and like I said I hope that this gives you uh, some you know inspiration and I'd love to see you tag me on it and you can see that's already alligator mouthing but that's okay it was fun to put together so now like I said stamping and journaling is what I'm after but here's the back and it was very fun. All right, until next time, everyone. Happy crafting, you all. Check out my channel for more fun things. Bye.